Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to add elements to the end of an array using concat instead of push. Functional programming is all about creating and using non-mutating functions. The last challenge, we introduced the concat method as a way to combine two arrays into a new one without mutating the original arrays. Compare concat to the push method. Push adds an item to the end of the same array it is called on, which mutates that array. Here's an example. Here we've got one, two, three, we push four, five, six. Their array is now equal to one, two, three, plus four, five, six in there. And therefore it changes it. This is not the functional programming way. Concat offers a way to add new items to the end of an array without any mutating side effects. Change the now mutating push, now mute, non, oh, non mutating push function so it uses concat to add new item to the end of the original instead of push. So original dot concat is equal to there. We'll run the tests, it should pass. All right, well, let's go a little bit more deeper into this. Um, Uh, result. If we were to say console.log uh, first, second, and result. Um, okay, so when it was push, we end up with this, right? So we've altered first because first is being passed in as original, non-mutating push, non-mutating push, and we're passing in one, two, three as the first variable, and the second variable we're passing in four, five. So we're pushing them in. So once first becomes original and the new item becomes second. And now what we're doing is original dot push new item. But re really what we want to return is one, two, three, four, five, six, right? And then, but this is just adding it. So this doesn't even give us what we want. We want one, two, three, four, five, six, but what, it's, what we're ending up is a mutated array, um, and the result is actually only even equal to four, right? So the result is the result of this function, and then this should just, these are just the, the ones that should stay the same. So when we go concat, our result becomes this, and our first and second are still the same as first and second here. And so therefore, we are going, the pro, the, we're doing what, we want to do in functional programming, which is all about creating and using non-mutating functions. And so even though all you had to do in this exercise to get the right answer was change push to concat, that makes a lot of sense to actually think more deeply about this problem set because this uh, is actually a important concept to understand. Anyways, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.